I think we're blessed today with a significant number of agents that we can use uh, for antifungal prophylaxis. Uh, I think the, the session that I was in was really talking about which one we should use and in which indication, uh, but it also had to emphasize that uh, we're not very good at making the diagnosis of uh, antifungal uh, patients with fungal disease, and so that prophylaxis is appropriate. Uh, but that to, to emphasize to centers that they really need to understand what's going on in their own departments, in their own country, to decide which of the agents they should use. And then, of course, uh, whether they need to do levels on these drugs to ensure that they've got adequate uh, levels. And also, at what point they need to do other more invasive diagnostic procedures to ensure that patients get the appropriate treatment because what we uh, clearly know from all the literature that we presented is the morbidity and mortality of fungal disease is significant. Actually, the, the real focus in, in leukemia treatment is always about relapse, but actually a significant number of patients uh, die from infective problems, both fungal and viral. So this remains core central to the practice in most institutions uh, at a time when we're all struggling with financial burdens, but it is the most important because there's no point in saying uh, you, you didn't die of your leukemia, but you died of your fungal infection.